Greetings and welcome to Cat Lady. I'm Catherine of Sky, and first of all, huge, huge thanks to Nomad Games for giving me the key to play this game for you today. And I know what you're thinking. This is like the perfect game for KOS, and you'd be right. Um, not just because it's about being the very best cat lady you can be, but because it's a card drafting game and quite a very fun uh, kind of card board game. Now this is based off the actual physical game uh, by AEG, and I hope that you'll enjoy it as much as I do. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is for this first episode, we're gonna go through the tutorial of the game because I think it's pretty important and it's also got some really cute dialogue options. So we're gonna start, I have actually done the tutorial, as you can see they're crossed off here. So we're gonna start with cats and food, which is the basics of how you play this game. And uh, I'm loving the cool jazz music going on with this, by the way. Welcome to Cat Lady, dear. Okay, let's go ahead and click. Your aim is to become the best cat lady by attracting hungry cats with food, toys, costumes, and more. I'm Margaret from the League of Cat Ladies, and I'll be teaching you all there is to know about being a great cat lady. With a little practice, perhaps one day you'll even be as successful as me or Gertrude. Oh, you're too kind. Good luck, dear. During a game, you and your rival cat ladies will take turns collecting cards from the grid. Nine cards have been dealt from a shuffled deck. The remaining number of cards is shown on the deck. Keep an eye on it, dear. As you can see, this grid of cards is made up of cute little cats and tasty food. Each little cat likes certain types of food, as shown on the card. Cat ladies should always give them their favorite. For example, Shadow likes tuna. Let's tempt him into our cattery. When collecting cards, you must take an entire row or column. So now we select the top row of cards in the grid to take Shadow, Tuna, and Bell. So here's Shadow. We can look at each card individually and we can see that Shadow likes some can, Tuna, and Bell is after some chicken. So we'll take this top row by clicking on the arrow here. Now, take a look at your play area on the right. This shows that you have two cats in your cattery plus one Tuna. Your current score is shown there too. We're not doing so well, we have minus six. Every cat in your cattery needs to be fed the correct food, and until they are, you lose two points for each hungry cat. You also lose two points for having more leftover food than anyone else. Don't let anything go to waste now. Your cattery shows all of the cards you have collected and you can feed your cats from here. Select Shadow and feed him some tuna from your food area. So we're just gonna click him, and then we just click the tuna. Shadow is now a happy cat. Isn't he just adorable? Oh, and your score has increased by five. Every cat has a value shown on the left of the card. When they're fed, you gain this number of points. Shadow is worth one point, as we can see. Because you now have one less hungry cat, you gain another two points. And since you no longer have the most leftover food, you gain those two points back. Well done, dearie. You can take the tuna away from Shadow if you want to feed it to another cat, but Shadow is happy, so let's leave him. Let's leave Shadow to enjoy his tuna in your cattery. Thank goodness. <laughs> Belle is also in your cattery, but she likes chicken and we haven't collected any yet, so she's still hungry. When cards are collected from the grid, they're replaced by three cards from the main deck. When a row or column of cards needs to be replaced, and there are no cards in the main deck, the game ends. Let's take a look at some of the cards on the grids, shall we? There are three types of food to tempt the cats with. Milk, chicken, and tuna. Some food cards count as two lots of that particular food. Wow, Pumpkin is a very hungry cat. She wants two lots of chicken and some milk. Wild food can be used as any of the three food types. Very handy. I like how it's called wild food. I guess that's kind of like a play on wild cards, except I'm like, where is the milk carton tree? I want to scavenge this in the wild. <laughs> when you've collected cards, your turn ends and it's the next cat lady's turn. 
All right. So the trainee is going next. Your rival cat lady just grabbed some cards. Tap their score tab to see a summary of their collection. Okay. This shows you all of their cat's food and other cards that this cat lady has collected. Don't get jealous now. I am jealous. Look, they have two six worth cats. Their cattery button shows you their current score. Whoever has the highest score at the end wins. Tap your score tab to return to your own summary view. Continue to collect cards for a few more rounds. Don't forget to feed your little darlings. All right, let's not forget. So, Belle is still hungry. Um, who? Look at these two four-point cats here. They want milk. That actually could be good to get Blackberry here because of the lots of chicken. We could feed both Blackberry and Belle with this selection. But we'd lose out on these two cats, and there's still 45 cards left. So I think I'm going to take Keaton and what is this? Sir Cuddleface. <laughs> All right, let's take those guys. We do have one food, so let's just feed Belle for now so we can easily keep track of people. Oh, look at this. Three lots of food here. Except we don't need any more chicken. Oh dear. We just need milk. <laughs> However, this might be a good option here. Six point cat with two chicken and one milk. That will help us out with this. Oh my God, look at this. All that wild food here. Okay, so let's take this. One milk and two chicken here. So we still need three milk and one chicken. So let's take this row. So we'll feed you one chicken. And then we have two milk. We might as well just feed it to Keaton. I didn't even need to click on Sir Cuddleface. Alrighty, what do we want now? We, two cans of tuna required. We need one thing of milk. We do have one wild food. So I think I'll take Bronte. Yeah, take Bronte for now. Get this milk fed, yo, and then get the tuna here. Okay, so, ooh, what do we want next? What do we have? We have one wild food. Zeus will give us the most points. We can get a chicken here and a tuna. I think that's gonna work really well for us. Give you the tuna. <gasps> A special cat has just been drawn. These cats give points based on what cats you already have. Black and white, isn't Luna pretty? Tap on her to take a look. Oh, Luna's not just a pretty face. When fed, she's worth one point for each black cat you've fed, including Luna herself. Some cats are just one color, while others are multiple colors. Combine special cats and colorful cats for lots of points. Okay, so we need to feed Luna uh, if we buy her. We don't have her actually just yet. Let's go ahead and feed Zeus. There we go. So if we get Luna, we can get... This is Henriette von Wiedel. <laughs> Very expensive cat, but also black. So I'm thinking about that. We don't have any extra. We only have one wild food. All the cats are fed. We only have 15 cards left. It's going to be hard to get everybody fed. If we take Luna, we need one of these tuna cards, I think. Let's take this row, this column, I should say. And hopefully we can get these cats fed. Oh, wow. That's tasty looking. All right. We might be able to feed everybody. So we need three chicken and one tuna and one milk. Three chicken and one tuna. Hey, that's tasty. Looking good. Let's feed these cats right quick. Okay, feed you. And so now Luna's worth three points because we have three black cats. We can also feed Henriette. So she should count. Now she needs one milk. Notice I'm saving the, uh, the wild food for last, just in case. Now there's only three cards left. So I think this is our last turn. Um, we need one milk. So we have one wild food. The best solution here would be to take a card selection with something we need. This doesn't work well. 
This will give us one milk, but we need, we would need three more food. No, that's not good at all. This way we need, nope, we'd end up with too much food. How much food does a trainee have? They have three food left. So, hmm. This would give us 200 hungry cats, which is minus four points, which is not good. I'd rather risk having too much food, I think, rather than the alternative of having too many cats. Because there's no way we can get Lily and feed the other cats. Yeah, there, there's just no, we can't even feed Lily. So Lily wouldn't even count toward our point thing. I think we're gonna go with the food option. Let's just take the milk here those and then trainee gets it and then we're done okay so then we get a chance to feed the cats well done dear all cards have been drawn you can feed any unfed cats now if you have any food left yes you can reassign food by tapping a cat card and then tapping the food icon to remove it you can then give it to another cat when you finish feeding your cats press the paw button to commit your score and see how you did good luck now this is a really good option if you have say if we had a cat with six points or something and um, and all you needed is one icon to make it six and, and then you would lose two for another like a one uh, point cat. So keep keep track of how many points each cat is worth. Now here we can feed Henriette either with the milk or we can f or with the wild food or with the milk. It doesn't matter which one since the wild is wild. But it's nice that it shows you that red icon here, like if you choose the wild food. You know, it shows you in red that it's like, hey, it sort of matches so that's a wild card, you know. Anyway, there we go. This is great. Luna has four points, which is quite tasty. Um, all right. And notice how they're worth different amounts of points. Like these cats are worth one point for one food. This is two points per food. These are two points per food. This is one and a half points per food, uh, and this is only five. So they have different values for sure. All right, let's go ahead and say we're finished. Yeah, we have way too much food. We have three food left, so we might lose points on that. All right, we still won. Hooray, yay tutorial level. <laughs> yay, oh, and we're gonna discover some of this fun stuff later. Okay, good. So there we go, we're finished, hooray. Rawr. All right, so let's do the next tutorial level. Toys, costumes, and catnip. Welcome to this lesson on entertaining your cats. You'll need some cats first year, and then we'll explore ways of entertaining them. Yes, let's do that. So, um, let's see, this is a six point cat and a one point cat. That looks pretty tasty. Or, or we could get the six and the four. Let's just do that. And we'll give um, Pablo Picasso. <laughs> so we have two good choices in this round, I think. Either the food, which we can't really use much of, or we can take these two cats, which are pretty decent point-wise. Um, Blackberry and Pumpkin. Pumpkin is a six-point cat, and we get one milk for this. So let's take those. Ooh, as you know, feeding your cats is very important, but so is keeping them entertained. Cats love toys and a mouse toy is almost as good as chasing the real thing. Take this mouse toy card and add it to your cattery and let your little darlings enjoy themselves. All right, which one do we want to go for? I think we need tuna. So let's take Keaton, it's four points for two food. Let's take this group. Now, dear, let's look at your cattery to view your sets of toys. You gain points based on the number of different toys you have in each set. You can score points from multiple sets. Collect as many different toys as you can. The bigger your collection, the more points you gain. So I didn't quite understand this at first, but what this is, is you need to collect, and I think there are like five or six different toys. There's like a, yeah, yarn ball over here. There's scratching posts, two different kinds of scratching posts. And you can pick up multiples of each uh, toy and they'll go in different toy sets. And as we see from, or we don't, Oh, yeah, here we are. Toy sets are worth 1, 3, 5, 8, 12, depending on the number of unique toys in the set. So right now we have toy set worth one point. 
Okay, so let's concentrate on our cats, however. I want to start feeding the cats so we have a better idea of how much food we need. So there's one. Milk. Here, you take some milk. Oh, wow. Look at this wild food set. This is great. We need this. We absolutely need this food set right here. Oh my god, look at this. There's nothing like cats more or less than dressing up in fancy little costumes. Indeed, less. <laughs> Your little cherubs will love this superhero costume, so collect it now. I don't want to collect it now. I want to collect this row right now. Actually, it's okay to get costumes. That's fine. That's fine. Check out the superhero costume in your collection now. Okay, there it is. The cat lady with the most cost costume cards earns six points toward their score. If two or more cat ladies tie for the most costumes, the points are divided evenly. If you have no costumes in your collection, you lose two points. So make sure your fluff balls have something to wear. Yes, I'm sure my cats would love a costume. So this is the costume uh, icon. This is the toy icon, how many cats we have, and then catnip, which I think we have in the next tutorial. Um, but anyway, here we go. We have toy set worth three points right now. Oh my gosh, look at all these tasty, nice things. All right, let's feed the cats. We have to feed them right now because I want to keep track. There's 36 cards left. Here, take that. Enjoy yourself. Let's start feeding this cat here. here we go pumpkin. So we need three chicken, two milk, and we have two wild food. Uh, we have, okay, we have a wand. We have another cat. I think we'll take this group here. And then we get eight points for this toy set. That is so tasty. Oh no, it is in this tutorial. A catnip card has been added to the grid. Mmm, catnip. Yes. You can gain a lots of points for having several catnip cards in combination with fully fed cats. Tap on the catnip card now to see what the fuss is about. Catnip cards alter your score depending on how many you have. If you have only one in your inventory, you lose two points. If you have two or three catnip cards, you gain one point per fully fed cat. If you have four or more catnip cards, you gain two points per fully fed cat. Collecting catnip cards and fully feeding your cats is a great way to earn extra points and your cats will love it. Close this card to return to the grid. There we go. Take the row or column of cards with the catnip card in it to treat your cats. Okay, do we want Luna? We have three black cats, and I think she has probably the same thing. Yes, for each black cat you feed. So we have already three black cats. Um, we would get four points, but then again, she's worth, she's two, two points on feeding. We already have another mouse toy, so that's not ideal to get this. However, we could use 30 cards left. You know what? We can we can get Luna and then stack the black cats, shall we? Okay. Oh, this is tempting. Okay, let's um All right, we really need we need lots of chicken, tuna, a couple of milk would be great. We could get Jazz and get two cat towers. Do we have a cat tower? We do not have a cat tower here. Ooh, what what's the next set? 8 12. If we get the cat tower, we also add it to this toy set as well. Should we get Jazz? Should we get Jazz? Do we need a lot of milk though? We do need a lot of milk. But we also want Jazz. Yeah, let's go for this for now. Ooh, toy set 12. Ooh, fancy suit. Oh, that's another costume. Okay, there we go. <gasps> Two more catnip cards are there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's feed cats. Feed, feed. Yes, good. Now then, I like to do the, the wild food at the end. So we need four chicken and one tuna. That's a lot. Uh, this might be a very good set. How many cards does the cat, this one, do they have? How many costumes? Two. So I need another costume for sure. Let's get more catnip. There we go. Oh, our, immediately our score jumps to 26. 
The main deck is almost empty, so the game is nearly over. I hope you made your cats very happy, dear. Yes, I hope so too. All right, let's make Pumpkin happy. Okay. Now then, we want some tuna. Catnip would be great as well. Yeah, this probably would help our situation a little bit. So we have three random foods. If we got two tuna, that actually would help us to get this. I think. Get Alvin. Okay, let's feed Alvin the tuna. And we need milk a little bit as well. Alright, six cards left. So we have three catnips. We only need one more. So we have two costumes. They have three costumes. We need these two costumes, actually. We could use the two chicken. In fact, it would be great to get two chicken. But we could go this way. Yeah, let's do this and get that last catnip. So we'll make sure we have the catnip. And then we'll get the two chicken here. Good. All right. We do not want to take any more cats, I think. Let's see. We have... This is last turn. Very important. Last turn we have... We could use yarn ball. That would be fine. We have three food. Ooh, we need two of those food, though. These here. I'm tempted just to take this. So we get another costume. The trainee has three costumes. That would be the last costume given out. So let's take this so we have more costumes. Okay, let's feed the cats. Luna, you get your chicken. We have three food left. That's not ideal, but it's only minus two points, I think. Okay, it's looking really good. Let's feed Alvin as well. Oh, we have two food left. Hooray. 64 points. Tasty nice. Look at this toy set. Five different toys. That is so good. And then we have these other two tiny toy sets. I should have gotten more toys maybe, but I think I made the best decisions that I could. So let's see. Finished. What do we have here? First place. Hooray. Against a trainee. It's fine. <laughs> 64 to 19 is not bad though. We did well. We did really well. Okay, fantastic. All right, now for the third tutorial, learn how to play sprays and strays. Now, I would have been happy with that level of entertainment, but there is even more to this game. Welcome, dear, to this lesson on sprays and strays. Take some cards now and watch what happens. Okay, so, um, wow, look at this food stack right here. I want this though, I think, the six and the four cat. Oh, look at that. When a row or column of cards has been collected, the cat token is placed there. The cat token protects the row or column from being collected by the next player, both a friend and a foe. So they can't choose that. So I can't choose this at the moment. Oh, look, a spray bottle. Let's see what those are for. Collect it now. Okay, so I can't actually collect it from this side. I can only take it from here. Cats do not like being sprayed with water, but that's exactly what the spray bottle is for, the poor things. Look, dear, an important card has been added to the grid. A lost cat poster. Let's get it and another spray bottle. You can't take the lost cat poster and the spray bottle because they are being guarded by that pesky cat token. However, you can chase away the cat token by using your spray bottle on it. Don't worry, dear, he'll be just fine. Select the spray bot button now and then select a new row or column to chase that pesky cat to. Okay, so we want to take this uh, row here. So we're going to change this to... I don't know, I think I want to take that tuna next time, so I'm going to change it to here. And we're going to grab this row. You now have a lot ca lost cat poster in your collection. Lost cat posters can be used in two ways, to gain wonderful stray cat cards or to earn points. Three stray cat cards are drawn randomly from a deck of 13 at the start of each game. Aren't they majestic? Stray cats can give you big boosts to your score when they're fed and each one is unique. 
Doesn't Cow look interesting? I can tell you, dear, that her name is definitely fitting. Tap Cow and we'll take a look. Cow is a white stray cat. She has special rules which are shown on her card. You may feed Cow any number of food, and she's worth two points for each. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is a very, very powerful card. When Cow is in your cattery, you can feed her any number of food, and she's worth two points for each one. Well, just like I said, thanks. Close her card now. <laughs> to collect one of the, of the three stray cat cards, you need to have it to have two lost cat poster cards in your inventory. Let's grab another one now. Take a row of column of cards with a lost, lost oh, why can I not say lost cat poster today? Okay, so we can't take this one, so we're gonna have to get the food. Let's go for it. You now have enough lost cat posters to adopt a stray cat. Let's adopt one of these friendly strays. Okay, so we have Waffle, a Waffle, Feed Waffle up to four of one type. He's worth three points for each food that you feed him. So if you think that you, you can feed um, cow more than four food, uh, it might be worth it. So four times three is 12 points. So you'd have to feed her six food. Um, oh, it's, it, it's up to one type, only one type. So cow is quite um, versatile and that you can feed her anything. Truffle. Feed Truffle one chicken, tuna, or milk. She's worth two points for each other cat you feed that eats that food. So you feed her and anyone that eats those kinds of foods you get two points for. So you'd, you'd, you'd focus on cats that eat a particular type of food. I think cow is probably the best of these selections. Let's adopt her. Well done, dear. If you make the stray cat happy, it'll give you lots of points in return. All right. So right now we have no costumes. We need to get costumes as well uh, because our cats, <laughs> poor things, don't have any costumes to suffer onward with. Anyway, we're going to do cow last um, with any extra food that we might have. Let's just feed our cats currently, figure out how much we need. All right, to there. There we go. So probably what we want to do is get the most food we possibly can get. Uh, do we want another kind of a cat like Waffle? I don't know. The Lost Cat posters, let's see. This card, two to gain one stray cat. Unused po posters are worth two points per pair. Okay, so that's worth two points for two of them, but I don't think I want that. I think I want, I would really like that costume, but I think this is probably better to get Chester and the food, more food. We're gonna like really stack the food. Okay, so we need to get food. There we go. And notice that the stray cats are not replaced. So you, you only get those choices at the beginning. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Splendor, how there are three cards at the top, um, and then you can only choose between those. Oh, the cat stack, look at this. Let's get this here. Okay, I do need, how much does the trainee have in costume wise? One, they have one costume. Oh, but look at them toys. Oh my god. The toys are really good. And the catnip. Oh, and Luna. I think we're gonna take... I'm gonna take the toys. I would really like the catnip though. We, we need the catnip. Okay, and... More toys and duck hat. Oh, that's a costume. Yes, we'll take that. We need a costume. Don't have any yet. There's two catnip here. Oh, there's two catnip here too. But here's a milk and chicken. There are 18 cards left. Let's take two. Okay, there's two milk. This is a milk and a tuna. Man, I'm really not succeeding very well in my quest to feed cow. That's not ideal. Let's see, we could, we have one five and one eight toy set. I think I would like to take... Wait, is Alvin a special cat? 
Oh, worth for each orange cat that you beat. I have two orange cats. But I think I'd rather have this for now. Okay. The game is almost over and you know now everything to get started on your cat lady journey. Try honing your skills against me or my cat lady friends offline and then show them off on the leaderboards in ranked play. Good luck, dear. All right, I can get two more catnip with this. This is probably best for us because we can get two chicken here. Uh, how much does a trainee have? She has three costumes, so I don't think I can get... I can get two more costumes, but that won't beat the trainee. So it's far better to get the catnip and stack our catnip bonus. Yes, there we go. Okay, oh, and we get another turn. I wondered about that. So if there's six left, that means we get another turn. Oh, this is great, this here, I think. So we have four catnip, that's important. Um... And that's enough. We don't get any bonuses for extra. So let's get more food. More food. Feed the cow cat. <laughs> yes, for food. Wow, look at all the stuff we have. So good. All right, we don't have a lot of costumes, but that's okay. It's far, far more important, I think, to get the toy sets. All right, let's feed our cow cat. Oh, stacking the food here. Boom. Cat worth 22 points. <laughs> Yay! I think we won. <laughs> ah, poor trainee. Poor trainee doesn't know how to run a proper cat cattery. Minus 13! Whoa! Wow. That's not good. Th this AI needs to work on the... I, I expect that's just because it's the, um, the, the, uh, the training session, shall we say, of the tutorial. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to playing some uh, some challenge modes or classic mode here in the next episode. So watch and see how I do. Come back for the next one. And until then, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>